All right, here's one I think you guys are all going to enjoy. I have made the very first indoor ambient light powered Slayer Sec Exciter radio transmitter. <laughs> you see those little LEDs are on right down there? Here, I'll disconnect it so it won't go out. There they go out. Now they're on. Out. On. Okay, this is a Slayer um, exciter, uh, simple circuit. I've done a couple of things a little bit different. I'm using a, a one meg ohm resistor uh, tapped in from the base to the plus rail uh, all the time. And my coil is a little different than what we've been working with. Uh, I like this tunable idea with the ferrite rod tuning uh, slug in that. It works pretty good. And uh, I've got this working off a little tiny panel that is uh, inside the house here. It's um, quarter to five in the afternoon on a cloudy day and the sun is setting on the other side of the house and uh, it's just ambient light coming in through this window into the living area here and it's hitting that little panel right there and it's giving it just enough juice to run that uh, exciter and uh, let me show you a little this is my little indicator here you'll see this guy come on okay you hear that noise that's coming out of that radio now it's transmitting from here to the radio over there and I can actually make a little uh, transmitter out of it And that's me right there doing my little tap on the aluminum there. You see the eyes change frequency a little bit when I do that. Anyway, that's my very first uh, ambient room powered light sec slayer type exciter. And there's my little water glass and maybe we'll get this guy to come on too. Probably can't even see that come on. There it goes. See that come on? That's coming in out of the water. And of course it comes in off of this too right here. So anyway, I just want to share that with people that uh, these, uh, these little exciter circuits uh, will take very, very, very small amounts of power and run on very, very low amperage, uh, very low voltage. That won't even light up an LED. That panel right there because of the amount of light hitting it is not even enough to light up an LED yet it'll run this uh, oscillator circuit and they'll run it in such a way that it'll it'll transmit now I can make these blink too and you can probably hear this when it goes into the blink mode get this to blink there goes the blink camera because of the frame rate on the count on the camera it's hard for this to pick up on the camera Let's see if I can get this to go there we go That's at a blink rate. If I touch it, I can change the rate there too. Anyway, I just want to share that with people that this uh, little Slayer exciter circuit's also a radio transmitter. A lot of fun.